Hello everyone, as uh, you must be aware that uh, when we sync on-premise identities to Azure, we have three ways for them to get the authentication. The first one is the password hash sync in which the hash of the password is uh, hashed again and synced to Azure AD. And that's how when the user logs into any of the cloud apps, it gets authenticated using that. The other one is uh, pass-through authentication wherein you set up a connector on your machine which has connectivity to domain controller as well as internet and whenever a user logs into any SaaS app it sends the authentication request to that connector and it verifies it from the domain controller and then the user is allowed to access. In this case the password hash is not saved on the Azure AD however you can save it to use some advanced features of Azure AD P2. The third option is federation wherein you have an ADFS server on premise and you want all the authentication requests to be forwarded to that ADFS server. So with ADFS you have web application proxy which is uh, a server which you mostly publish in DMZ and in some cases that is not a server that might be a network device like F5 where you publish the certificate and the request from Azure AD are sent to that uh, web server and then to ADFS once the authentication is approved the user is able to access the SaaS services. So here in my case, I see that my password hash sync is enabled, the federation and pass-through authentication are disabled. In this demo, we will enable ADFS authentication for our Azure AD and move it from password hash to ADFS without uh, using WAP server in DMZ with a public IP or any network device in our DMZ with a public IP. So this is my ADFS uh, page in which I am able to open internally using my internal server name dot my internal domain name. I am also able to access it using adfs.anudev.co.in. So anudev.co.in is my external routable domain and ADFS is just a host name which I have given to it. So in my internal DNS, I have created this zone and uh, created a C name for ADFS to route it to my internal server. So I am able to access it uh, internally by both the names. So this is important here. We need to have it accessible over our, our external routable domain, which is published in Azure, because that will be the URL which will be accessed when we publish our ADFS server externally and user will go to authentication to this particular URL. But in my case, I do not have a web server and uh, how do I publish my ADFS server externally? So one of the solution is Azure App Proxy. So let us go to Azure and publish our ADFS server externally first. In Azure AD, I will go to Enterprise Applications and I will go to Application Proxy. Already I have an Application Proxy server set up. So I have installed Application Proxy connector role on this server internally and it has internet access as well as access to my domain. In my case, it's only a single server, so it's my domain controller and it's active so the next step would be to configure an app on the new app page I have given the name as ADFS app this is my internal server URL my internal domain name and the server name where ADFS is set up I want to publish it as adfs.anudev.co.in externally in pre-authentication I will change it to pass through also we need to create a record in our external DNS server, which I have on GoDaddy for anudev.co.in zone. So a CNAME record from this adfs.anudev.co.in to adfs-anudev-msproxy.net, which I have already done. So we will add it now and wait for it to get finished. ADFS app has been created now. And then we go to application proxy under there we will get the option to upload the certificate so here we will upload the same certificate which we have on our adfs server so in my case this is the one where i have the subject alternative name as my internal domain name as well as my external domain i will export the private key and i have already saved it on the desktop so i will use the same one and i will upload the certificate in my case, it's an internal certificate. So while accessing it, I will get an error message, uh, a warning and it will work. But 
in a production environment you might be using a public certificate so that should work even internal one will work you will just get a warning so it is done now let us see if uh, the url works externally or not so on my external machine if i try to ping adfs.anudev.co.in i get a public ip and if i ping the same url on my internal machine i should get an internal ip because i have a dns record in my internal zone so this is an internal ip so internally it will work on internal ip so now let us try to access it so externally i am able to access it i just get this warning message which is fine and i can click on sign in and sign in with my account but still my authentication currently is working on password hash so we will have to change it so we will open azure ad connect on our azure ad connect server and change the user sign in so here i will put the user name id for my azure ad global administrator on the next page i will select federation with adfs click on next put in the domain credentials here we will use the existing farm and this is my adfs server name domain name would be my external domain name it will take some time and it will do a sync and then we will try to access the SAS URLs from external machines and see whether it works or not. So I've already created a DNS uh, A record and I will exit it. So it doesn't resolve to IPv6, which is fine. In, uh, internally, it's resolving to internal IP. Externally, it's giving me external IP. So this is all fine. I will click on exit. And now we will go to our external machine and our authentication should now work over adfs and not uh, using password hashing so i will try to access my apps.microsoft.com i will select uh, one of my internal accounts and now it should go to my adfs page where it is going and let me enter the username and password Now the authentication has gone to Azure App Proxy, which is routing it internally to my internal ADFS server and authentication works and I am able to access it. In this video, you saw how we publish our internal ADFS server without using WAP or any F5 externally and modified Azure AD Connect to use ADFS authentication instead of password hash sync. So I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.